Hey, it's Kip K for Make Magazine with another weekend project. You know, as far back as you can remember, man has always wanted to fly. Going back to Greek mythology with Icarus, and even Leonardo da Vinci thought that man could fly if he only had wings. Well, there hasn't been very much success in that. So today, we're going to build a flapping flying machine called an ornithopter on this week's weekend project. You'll find Building an Ornithopter in Make, Volume 8, and it's on page 90. I suggest you either pick up this issue of Make or download the PDF because there's some very fine details regarding the balsa wood sizes you're going to need. And I didn't want to take the time in the video to explain each and every small piece. You'll also need some CA or super glue and some CA accelerator and also a piece of music wire. Now you'll be bending one length of the music wire to form the tail rear motor attachment. Glue it in place on the motor stick. Then it's time to assemble the fuselage by gluing the motor stick, the front vertical connector, the top wing attachment member, the crank standoff, and also the back vertical connector. Now taking a two inch by two inch square of paper, you're gonna roll yourself up a little tube using the music wire as a guide. Then you're going to cut up that tube into three half-inch long tubes. Attach the three tubes to the fuselage with CA and accelerator, and make sure they're aligned with the long axis of the fuselage. Then it's time to form the crank wire, and you can use this guide as to all of the bends that are needed in the crank wire. Now we'll be using some small beads as the standoffs for the crank wire, so you'll attach those to the crank wire, and then attach the crank wire to the fuselage. And then you'll be making another bend in that. To make the wing spars, you're going to take two small pieces of music wire and bend them into the shape on this drawing. Then you'll be gluing them in place to the two 8-inch pieces of balsa wood that will serve as the wing spars. Now it's time to make the tail by gluing the two tail pieces together. Then reinforcing the connecting rods, putting two holes a half inch from each end of the connecting rods, and attaching them to the crank. Now it's time to cut out your wings using a template. The wing span should be 16 and a half inches long. And you also need to cut out a tail wing, which is 7 inches long. You can find the templates at this address on MakeZine.com. Some small pieces of 16th inch diameter heat shrinkable tubing will serve as your standoffs and connections for your connecting rod. Use a heat gun to heat those up. This Make Weekend Project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. So once you have your rubber band attached, it's time to start winding it. And then we can give it a little test and see how it flaps. It appears to be flapping pretty good, so let's give it a toss and see how well it does. I'm not really getting the kind of distance I'd like, and it's likely because uh, it's not a very calm day. Um, wind plays a big factor in the flight of these ornithopters, and today is not a very calm day. And there you have it, the ornithopter. And with any flying machine, minor tweaks and adjustments will always need to be made. The tail wing, uh, the weight of the wings, and a variety of other factors will determine how well this flies, including a very still day with absolutely no wind, because this is a very light flying machine. So there's your ornithopter on this week's weekend project, and we'll see you next time. Fly! Fly!